Hey everyone, welcome to Craving Something Scary, where it's all horror, all the time. Now in this video, I'm going to discuss a recent article on digitalfix.com where they dive into videos with Scream 5 and 6 star Melissa Barrera and Scream 1 through 3 cast member Liev Schreiber, who of course played Cotton Weary. Now in these interviews, Melissa reveals which Scream film is her personal favorite, and her response may surprise many of you out there in the fandom. And Liev opens up to share what remains the biggest regret in his career. So let's dive in and see what they had to say. Let's go. Hi, my name is Michelle La Liberté. I'm the production designer on Screen 6, and you're watching Craven Something Scary. So again, you can check out the full articles on digitalfix.com after this video if you'd like to read the full articles, but I'll be barring some of their commentary as well. Now, when it comes to Melissa Barrera, she was asked to name her favorite Scream movie, and she reached for a choice not generally considered by many to be one of the best horror movies in the franchise. Now, she named the pretty iconic, quote, original first. But then she opened up to reveal that her personal most favorite Scream film is none other than, and I'll give her exact quote, she says, I also secretly love the third one. I feel like it's such an unpopular opinion, but I actually love the third one. It's so funny, and if you know the backstory of what happened when they were going, well, when they were shooting that movie, and how they had to change the script because of what was going on in the world, I think it's brilliant what they did. It's very unique and cool. I'm just going to stop there for a second and just say that I have been saying this same thing for ages, guys, here on the channel. Screen 3 is the most uh, misunderstood film in the franchise, and I think the majority of the fandom has no real grasp of exactly what was going on behind the scenes when that film was being made. I mean, absolute studio interference. It was complete chaos. And I've often said it like this. If it had been a director lesser than a legend like Wes Craven that was behind the helm pulling that thing off, that movie would have been a total disaster. Just a disaster of a movie. The fact that that movie, he was able to pull that off, that it was still entertaining. It's still a fun movie to watch. And I thoroughly enjoy it immensely every time. I mean, I often say it has some of the best rewatchability of all the movies. It just gets better every time. So kudos to Melissa. I love to see this and I share her sentiment. I really do. It was, it's fantastic. Now, is it my own personal most favorite? Probably not, but it's not my least favorite and it's a movie that I really enjoy. Now, you know, it's, it's what for what it's worth, Barrera is right to note that on screen three, you know, although often maligned for its comedic tone, I hear that a lot, it is a unique addition to the franchise. And after all, it's themes of exploitation and Hollywood guys with Milton in the studio the secret filming room, all that stuff became more resonant as time went on in the wake of the Harvey Weinstein crimes that became public knowledge, which were actually, you know, he was in charge of the very studio that put out Scream 3 at Dimension, which was crazy. So I'm telling you right now, there's, there's so much behind the scenes of that that just makes that movie even better and better the more you understand it. So anyway, guys, I thought that was awesome and was worth sharing. Now let's move on to Leif Schreiber's comments regarding what he considers to be the biggest career mistake he's ever made. Now the Scream franchise is an absolute behemoth in the horror, in, in the horror genre. 
It's undoubtedly one of the best horror movie series of all time. It's got the revenue to back it up, the audience and the fandom to back it up, any way you look at it. Now, for Lee Schreiber, his time in Scream is tinged with regret as the actor now wishes he had not asked for his character to be killed off. Schreiber was in the very first Scream film briefly, but left the Scream cast by the time the third slasher came along at his own request. That's right, he actually asked to be killed by Wes Craven to kill him in Scream 3. So his character, Cotton Weary, was killed off. As you guys remember, the opening kill, literally because he asked for it. Now, over 20 years later, the franchise is still going strong, and we all have our sights on a Scream 7 release date that we're waiting to hear about at some point soon. But Schreiber was, uh, was discussing his career recently with GQ, and he revealed that he now wishes he had not asked to be taken out by Ghostface. He said, at that point in my career, I didn't fully understand the value of being in a franchise. To be frank, I was like, let me get out of this while I can. Get out while things are going well. I just thought it would be fun to be one of the iconic kills from the top. He said, I was working and doing a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff in New York in theater. And I was just like, how many times can I play this character? And now I realize you can play that character as many times as they want you to. I kind of suggested they knock me off. Part of the device of those movies is that somebody in the first five minutes gets killed and we really don't expect them to get killed. Now, I'm kicking myself, he added. And I have to say, guys, I hate that Cotton Weary's gone. I've said that many times. He's a character I really enjoyed in Scream 2. We really got to see Cotton Weary kind of come alive in that second film. I had high hopes in Scream 3 for him. I wanted to see Cotton make it at least to the third act in that movie, uh, as he did in Scream 2. I was really hoping for that. But as we now realize, Cotton requested that, uh, that Wes would kill him in the opening, and Wes granted his wishes, and they did it. But here's the thing, guys. I've been talking a lot about this. Radio Silence has made it clear that you can survive a screen film unless you're shot directly in the forehead. So, you know, Cotton got stabbed a couple times. Uh, and, you know, granted, they're in the chest. <laughs> Not a good area. But you know what? Who knows? You know, we've got Drew Barrymore coming back, wanting to come back, rather. We've got Parker Posey publicly wanting to come back. And now we've got Cotton uh, Leaf Schreiber publicly saying he regrets not being in the movies anymore. Who knows what the future could hold? Maybe we get a flashback scene of Cotton. You know? Maybe we get some kind of flashback to some events that happened there that we don't know about. It's possible. Uh, anything's possible. So if you like Cotton Weary as well, the character, never give up hope, especially when the actor's so openly now saying they would like to be a uh, part of it. They wish they were still part of it. All right, everyone, I'm going to leave it there. I want to know what you think about Melissa and Lee's uh, comments. I want to know your thoughts, ideas, and theories. So start leaving your comments below right now in the comments uh, section so we can discuss it together. Well, that's all for this quick update, but I'll be back soon with more Scream and other horror movie content. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, this is Craving Something Scary, where it's all horror all the time. Thanks for watching.